Certainly is. Uh, we're going to focus right now on the Howard Franklin Bridge to start things off. I've got a, a couple issues after this as well, but look at this. Northbound really stacked and packed. Six miles per hour here. It's all due to a fatal crash. You can see the two right lanes still blocked, but I just got an update that it should be reopening soon. But right now, look at this backup here, folks. I want you to take the Courtney Campbell Causeway if you're heading over into um, Tampa this morning or the Gandhi Bridge. Just to give you a quick idea, it's, it's a half an hour minimum over the Howard Franklin Bridge. Again, it should be reopening soon, but right now it is still closed. So stay with me all morning. I'll keep you updated. Look at this. Northbound 301 at Panther Trace. All northbound lanes are blocked here in Riverview due to a nasty crash. Take I-75 instead. Let's go to Malik on the street. He's out there on Olmerton Road, folks, and it looks like we now have two lanes eastbound that have been reopened. So this is some very good news. He just panned away, but as he moves back, you can see that they're still active on the scene where a vehicle crashed into a pole. Quite a nasty mess there, but again, two lanes have been reopened eastbound Olmerton. This is right by 275. That's a look at weather and traffic, and now back to Gene and Gail. Leslie, thanks.